our top story this hour, Governor Spencer Cox meeting with media this morning to talk about a newly established innovation fund. News specialist Emma Benson is live at the state capitol with more. So Emma, tell us about the fund, what it's going to be used for. Yeah, Shara, this fund is in collaboration with Utah's higher education institutions. So really it's all about uh, investing in startups and discoveries at colleges and universities to help them reach their full potential and grow into something even bigger. When I was about uh, 14 years old, I saw a documentary about world water scarcity. Ever since he was a teenager, former Utah Tech University student Hunter Mance has been on a mission to combat water scarcity. So uh, I want to try to help with the problem and started building little machines in my parents' garage. Eventually, Mance founded his desalination company, Eden Technologies. Eden Tech is the recipient of the first investment of the newly established Utah Innovation Fund. And the whole idea be behind the Innovation Fund is to give us an opportunity to take the best ideas and make sure that they, they grow into something that, that can really benefit the lives of, of Utahns everywhere. The fund was born as HB 42 during the 2023 legislative session. Now, the $15 million fund does not include taxpayer money. It was repurposed out of former programs shut down. Sometimes when we were in legislation, we're not really sure if it's really going to work. Like, we have an idea and we hope that it's going to work. So it's really uh, satisfying to see that it really is taking off and there are real companies being created because of this fund and because of this legislation. Now, Mance and other young entrepreneurs can continue to develop their ideas. Our team is already using their support to advance a solar-powered desalination plant on the Navajo Nation to provide clean drinking water for the local community. To help solve problems in our state and beyond. These discoveries, research, and innovations are important to our future. Now, they do have a multi-step process to decide who exactly to invest in. If you have a company that you think fits their criteria, you can reach out to them. All that information can be found on their website, utahinnovationfund.com. Reporting live from the Capitol, Emma Benson, KSL 5 News. Good Cheryl? to know. All right, Emma, thank you.